Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying their Sweet World experience. Today, we'll be talking about automation, driving new levels of efficiency and traceability and sourceability operations. Just a quick intro. My name is AJ Laxamana. I'm a development manager at Myers Holm Inc. Uh, I've been with the firm for over four years and uh, definitely excited to um, share this presentation with you. Uh, here with me today is Mark Long. Uh, Global IT Director from Sourceability. Uh, Mark, would you like to give us a little bit of a background? Sure, yeah. Um, I am, uh, as, as AJ had said, I'm the Global IT Director. Um, I was the one responsible for uh, selecting NetSuite and selecting Myers Holm. Um, our project um, has been an adventure um, and it's going rather well. Awesome, thanks Mark. Um, yeah, let's go through the safe harbor statement. Now, Mark, would you like to give us a little bit of background on sourceability? Sure. Yeah, um, sourceability um, is a non-stocking distributor of electronic components. Um, one of the differentiating factors when we were formed in uh, 2015 uh, is that uh, we... Um, are specializing in digital tools. Um, so we both sell the products and we also have a suite of digital tools. Um, we uh, have 20 locations. Um, currently we're a little over 350 employees. Um, we've got distribution centers all over the world, Singapore, Hong Kong, Miami. Uh, we just opened a new one in Hungary. Um, uh, we've also, um, I've got a true e-commerce marketplace that we've built um, called Source Engine, um, where we offer over a billion parts um, from over 3,500 suppliers. Uh, one of the differentiating factors for us as well is our quality assurance and logistics support. Um, we specialize in making sure that the product you order is the product uh, that you truly receive. Um, in the electronic component business, there is a, a large um, issue with non-compliant parts, um, and our quality process is one of the best. Awesome. Thank you. And yeah, just to add to that, definitely working with sourceability, um, just the sheer scope of uh, your uh, parts and the level of um, detail that you add to your quality, as we'll see later, is uh, definitely um, uh, a Definitely a, a sure point here. Um, Mark, just wanted to uh, get your input and just some additional context in terms of the business challenges you had before uh, selecting NetSuite. Sure, yeah, because we're global, we, we have uh, very specific inventory management issues. We have to have visibility from uh, basically the time a customer makes an opportunity request um, all the way through the shipment process. And in there um, could be uh, coming in from a, a, a separate purchasing. It's going to have to go through our quality. There may have to be value-added services um, all the way to the time it gets put in a box and it gets shipped. Um, we, have to have ver we have to have visibility through that entire process. Um, now, that is including our order processing. We've got to have that all the way through there. We've got to have the same thing in our uh, supply chain. Um, and everything had to be real time. Um, we were really challenged by our old system and the fact that everything was delayed. Um, the, the other part of it is uh, because we have multiple systems, we need to make sure that our data is accurate, uh, that the same data that's in our CRM is the same data that's in our uh, ERP, that's the same data that's in our online services. Um, I, as I explained before, one of our uh, competitive advantages is our quality uh, assurance and, and our quality control processes. Um, and, and that is something that we built pretty much from the ground up with, with your help. Um, and it, it definitely is giving us the results we're looking for. And then again, as you mentioned, um, we're global. Um, the, our, everything we do has to be scalable. Um, and, and NetSuite and what you've done has allowed us to maintain that scalability. Awesome. Thank you. And 
yeah as a uh, as mark mentioned when we took on this um this project right the key points that we were really aiming for was improve efficiency uh you know i think visibility was mentioned uh, multiple times um especially with this sheer scale and uh you know just the type of uh, business that they're in visibility is key so we provided as many peripherals as we can um, to help from the power users all the way to uh, executive users. Um, we also worked on unifying the system and uh, consolidating everything into uh, one suite per se um, and making sure that all the information can be found quite quickly and without much navigation or switching, um, uh, I guess, software or uh, pages on a literal sense. Um, we also worked on role-based access um, as Sourceability has, uh, you know, um, many different roles in many different departments. We want to be able to control um, access and view to data that is surely supposed to be just relevant to that uh, particular user, as we do have lots of um, customizations and information portrayed um, in this instance. Uh, we definitely leverage SweetScript here, um, more than 300 plus uh uh, SweetScript um, files have been created to associate and uh, accommodate for SourceAbility's business processes. Um, we've also been able to integrate with their uh, e-commerce marketplace source engine, um, essentially uh, just a large database with billions plus SKUs, thousands of uh, suppliers and vendors. And um, we definitely found a creative way to uh, bring that into NetSuite um, while still keeping efficiency and optimization. And as uh, Mark concluded, scalability, uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, future growth was definitely accommodated for. As you mentioned, uh, they've recently expanded to Hungary and, you know, um, that was more or less a quicker or a uh, more short term um, enhancement on our side because of our uh, consideration for uh, scalability. what production looks like with ERP integrations and customizations. As we mentioned before, um, we were able to create a custom integration with their uh, source engine e-commerce marketplace and NetSuite. Uh, we call this peripheral part search. It integrates with source engine and NetSuite and this facilitates dynamic sourcing of parts. And you're able to see a holistic view of um, information uh, from NetSuite and source engine uh, with regards to this particular manufacturer part number. Um, and as uh, to continue on part search, um, you will see historical data and up-to-date data on available lots, offers, um, and transactions associated to that um, manufactured part number. Uh, we also worked on streamlining the supply chain. Um, we have uh, automations on every sub-process and transaction uh, within SourceAbility is instance, um, and we provide visibility through all of that. Um, we also worked on a very custom uh, allocation solution. Uh, again, uh, the main focus is holistic view and being able to track a item all the way on the lot level um, from the beginning all the way to the end of their life cycle. And lastly, um, unified view um, and automated actions. Uh, yeah, there's a, I, I believe there's an automation in every single transaction um, to provide uh, visibility and ease of use for all the end users. As Mark mentioned earlier, um, one of SourceAbility's uh, you know, key differentiators is their quality control and quality assurance. Um, with Myers Holom, we were able to create a completely custom inbound QC and outbound QA solution uh, we utilize SuiteScript um, and uh, custom records, custom fields, you name it, for uh, essentially building them this custom module. Um, this allows inspectors to go into a very detailed uh, way of inspecting their, uh, their parts on a lot level, um, all the way to uh, scrapping and additional discrepancy reviews. Uh, and same goes for the outbound. Uh, um, QA for fulfillments. It's a little bit more streamlined uh, where you can see uh, printouts of uh, required documents and etc. cetera. 
Now a peek into sourceability's automations, part search, and allocation tracker. All right, so now um, we're here in sourceability's uh, sandbox environment. Um, firstly, we want to talk about part search. Um, you can use part search in two ways. One is on our dashboard. Secondly, is on the opportunity record through the part search button. They will view the same type of information, but there is a small differentiator in what you can do with them um, based on the dashboard and based on the record. So we start with entering SMPN and click part search. It'll query both source engine and NetSuite for relevant information, starting with the inventory, and this will be broken down per lot. Um, secondly, we will use Source Engine's database to grab offers. Um, we do provide two types of offers. One is excess, um, and secondly is the offers for leads. Now, going back into NetSuite, we will then look at relevant transactions with vendor quotes, opportunities, uh, customer quotes, if that has been transformed from an opportunity, uh, sales orders, purchase orders, and customer alternates. Customer alternates are essentially um, alternate MPNs that could um, then be used as a replacement to satisfy um, the requirements for that MPN that we searched on. Going to the opportunity, if we click on part search, you will see a very similar screen. Um, one of the differences is that it's already filtered by the line items associated to the record. So if we click on test MPN, click on part search, we will then see uh, the same peripheral here as seen earlier. Um, now the only difference that uh, between both uh, peripherals is that um, this is actionable. We can actually add the sources that we see here onto the transaction. Um, in this example, we'll select inventory here. And if you wanted, you can go scroll down and click on the update cart button, or also click on our collapse, click update cart. And then you'll now see that um, a lot has been added to the source. And if we click submit, it will automatically update the opportunity automatically reload and now you see it's auto automatically been assigned as a source here okay so now we also have additional uh, automations that we will um, not show in this uh, particular demo but we do have automations for routing requests requests for quotes um, opportunity to flow conversion all the way to sales order conversion once we get to the sales order, um, we can then also look at our view allocation screen. Our view allocations goes by line item. So if we click on this button here, we will have a new peripheral that shows an allocation breakdown of this item per lot. Um, this is, as mentioned here, line item number one, it shows the location, order quantity, and allocated quantity. Um, and then this allocations tab just shows a quantity on hand, location, the ship date for partial shipments, and uh, invoices associated. We also have available inventory, which is essentially available lots on order in stock or in uh, RTV, along with their associated POs, um, where you can see more quantity and quantity available that you can also add to this line item for allocations. And that's it for the part search and view allocation suite. Next, we'll take a look at sourceability's inbound QC. Now, in continuation with our view allocations, we see that there are POs associated to these lots, and that is so we can um, complete the requisitions and be able to uh, get the inventory required to fulfill our orders. In this example, we'll be looking at this uh, PO over here. 
um, with our automations uh, for POs, when they are received, we will automatically create what we call QC inspection checklists. In this case, we see that there are uh, multiple partial receipts. Um, if we look at one of the item receipts here, we will see that there is a QC inspection record automatically created for this particular uh, record. Um, please note that QC inspections are created per item per lot. Uh, in this example, there is one lot. And as we look into the QC inspection record, um, we're able to look at the inspection report, which is tied to um, another one of our automations that automatically creates a checklist, QC checklist. Um, you can also add uh, drag and drop functionality for um, file attachments for images, et cetera. Um, we also have lot breakdowns, um, identifying if uh, the quantities on a lot split has been conforming or discrepant. Um, we will also view inventory adjustments. Um, Sourceability also has uh, the concept of value added services um, that can be requested all the way to MPN change. And finally, the conclusion in terms of the QC results, if it's passed or failed, and just a little bit more um, context as to the pass. In this example, if we require additional review, we will look at the discrepancy review here, where you can, again, um, the inspector can go into more detail into the uh, inspection in terms of the lot and item breakdown, as seen earlier with the uh, status of conforming or discrepancy. Um, and in terms of the uh, relevance, we, are, we will look at the receiving transactions, the purchasing transactions, the entity, and um, the review status. Now, all this ties back to the QC inspection record and the item receipt. And once QC is completed, then um, we can continue on with the order lifecycle, go into billing, and then consequently go into fulfillment and uh, invoicing. And that is it for a sneak peek on SourceAbility's inbound QC. Now, strategic solutions and innovative approaches. So founded in 1981, Myers-Holm, um, with their 425 plus consultants specialize in providing deep domain knowledge and industry expertise, uh, ranging from high tech, wholesale distribution, of course, uh, retail, et cetera. Um, we've also focused on uh, visibility in all of our projects. As Mark mentioned earlier, that's one of the key um, points that they needed for their NetSuite instance. So we provided that through uh, dashboards, safe searches, um, analytics, suite lits, integrations, et cetera. Um, we also like to take pride in innovation um, using uh, Suite script to its absolute fullest, along with integrations and uh, custom APIs to deliver not just efficient, but also captivating uh, solutions for our enterprises. And lastly, our bread and butter is really our holistic approach. Um, we, you know, regardless of the scale of the project, whether it's um, small or uh, enterprise level, like source abilities, we always focus on scalability and future outlook. Um, so that the solutions themselves uh, can stand the test of time. And that wraps up our on-air Sweet World session. Uh, Mark, do you have any closing remarks for this presentation? Yeah, um, yeah I'd just like to thank AJ and his team. Um, we made the decision to move with NetSuite uh, to create a platform we can grow with. We wanted to make a one-time decision uh, we believe that that's that's where we're at. Um, Myers Holm, AJ's team, has been helping us uh, get to where we want to be. We have a lot more to go, uh, but we think that uh, that NetSuite is the way to do it. Awesome, yeah. And uh, Myers Holm, uh, we've definitely, you know, we definitely enjoyed uh, working with you and having this partnership. And hopefully, we can continue and um, keep expanding and uh, keep building. Uh, 
uh, this new solution with you. So I appreciate for uh, you having your trust in us and hope we can continue that.